Since the last update, only one station has opened, and it opened on December 30th or 31st, ahead of the New Year's Eve deadline, completing the 25 uh, they said they were going to do. That location is right here in Fort Chiswell, Virginia. I plan to go there tomorrow to do a site visit video. <clears throat> Something else that has uh, just happened, um, EVGO updated their website to have a Pilot Flying J section that has basically this same map, uh, but more information. I'll show that here in just a second. A lot of YouTubers have been creating videos of this site, and as you could imagine, they're very photogenic um, and uh, make great videos. In fact, I myself went to a site that was under construction and did a site visit video this past week. Um, and as I said, I'm also gonna be doing another one tomorrow. Uh, let's take a look to see what PlugShare users are saying about these locations. All right, so Ted says, had to dance between Charger 1 and 2 eventually, so Ted had a little bit of problem. Nice location, unfortunately never got above 67 kilowatts, okay. Uh, BP says, every station should be like this, like these pilot stations. Great speeds and amenities. Uh, great station, covered chargers, Denny's on site for breakfast, clean bathrooms. I hope this can become the standard everywhere. Uh, let's go to the other new site in Missouri, which I believe is this one right here. Yeah. Um, only reached 42, which is odd. Might be due to colder temps. Um, seems to be working well. It's cool that they're pulled through just like regular gas pumps. Very common sentiment that's being conveyed in these... Um, Let's see, TCI Island Time had a problem, but was able to work on the other one with 200 kilowatts. So it's very uh, common sentiment that's being echoed on these locations that they really like the amenities and the fact that the um, canopy locations um, are very similar to gas pumps. And so people really like <clears throat> these stations. Let's go over what those amenities are, because I don't think I did that in the last update. We... Um, uh, have fast food at pilot locations. We have sit-down restaurants at Flying J's, most commonly Denny's, and there's quick service at both. Um, they also have a travel center, which is the shower and the laundry section. Last location I went to that was labeled as professional drivers only, so I don't know if that's an unspoken rule that the laundry and showers are just for pro truckers or not, but I think you can just go in and uh, get a shower if you want to. Uh, I think it's about 10 or 20 bucks, something like that. The restrooms are very clean because the professional truckers pay to park their vehicles here. So the amenities are kept clean uh, in order to attract them as customers. They also have free Wi-Fi, which is pretty slow. I've had a hard time doing streaming uh, on the free Wi-Fi, but they also have premium Wi-Fi, which is similar to a hotel. And it also covers the property pretty good, like uh, out in the parking spaces and in the charging stalls. Most importantly, though, they're open 24-7, 365, which means they never close. You could pull up at 1 o'clock in the morning, charge your car, go and use the restroom, buy some food. Uh, even the Denny's, the sit-down restaurants, if you want to get a cheeseburger at 2 o'clock in the morning, the Denny's at the Flying J's are open 24-7, 365. All right. <clears throat> um, what I want to talk about is the cost, because there are a lot of people chiming into PlugShare talking about how high this cost to charge at these locations. At my house, um, my utility charges me 8.6 cents per kilowatt hour. And here's the formula, how you convert it to a gallon of gas. Um, you have to assume 30 MPG in order to do this conversion. And, you know, that's just kind of a, a random number, but you'll see if you use 30 MPG, it makes the math really easy. Um, you also have to assume that the electric vehicle can travel three miles per kilowatt hour. And I know some cars can get more than that and some cars get less than that. But if you assume 30 MPG and you assume three miles per kilowatt hour, then all you have to do is move the decimal point one position over. Because here's the formula. Kilowatt hour cost times 10. Uh, because if you can go three mi miles per kilowatt hour in order to get to 30 miles per gallon, you times it by 10, right? So all we have to do is move the decimal point over. So some of these locations can charge more than 60 cents. Some of them are less than 60 cents. But if you just say 60 cents per kilowatt hour, that is the equivalent of $6 for a gallon of gas. 
That's ridiculous. That is, I mean, who would pay $6 for a gallon of gas on a road trip? That don't make sense. Um, the reason why I go, I mean, I get free charging because I'm a GM customer with Lyric uh, EVgo two-year free plan. And uh, GM customers are going to be getting discounts. So perhaps what they're doing is they're dissuading people from using their DC fast chargers if you're not a GM customer in order to control the, um, the <clears throat> congestion at the sites. And uh, the high dollar amount is there if you need it. But if you don't need it, please go somewhere else is basically what they're trying to convey. And I have seen dealerships do similar things where they're required to put a DC fast charger on their property, but it doesn't say what they have to charge for it. So they charge very high rates in order to dissuade people from using it. And then they just use it for their own use. Um, in fact, I took a road trip returning my son to the University of North Carolina at Wilmington um, last Monday. And uh, I went to a dealership and it was 65 cents per kilowatt hour. So I used that just enough to get me to the next station that was able to fill me up at a more reasonable rate, which was 41 cents per kilowatt hour. But even 41 cents, that's $4.10 gasoline equivalent for a gallon of gas. It's pretty high. So road tripping or using DC fast chargers alone, you're not gonna save any money. In fact, you're spending way more money. In, in the case of uh, Pilot Flying J, if you just average that it, they're costing 60 cents per kilowatt hour, it's double. Uh, so either uh, marketing forces are going to moderate the kilowatt hour pricing as more DC fast chargers get put in, uh, because I don't think there's any uh, regulations concerning the cost for a gallon of gas, what you can charge. Um, it's just market forces. No one's going to come to your gas station if you're charging twice as much as the person across the street. Um, so conceivably, market forces eventually are going to take hold of this and drive the price down. Um, or the good people at Pilot Flying J will get religion and uh, stop price gouging. Because that is a very high price. $6 for a gallon of gas is high there, there's just no way around that and plug share users echo that sentiment that it's nice but damn is it expensive and sure enough it is e expensive um, at my home i pay 86 cents for a gallon of gas um, at pilot flying j if i wasn't on the free plan i'd pay six dollars for a gallon of gas that's a big difference all right, enough harping on that. Um, many people, as I said, are doing uh, videos of these locations, and I'll link them down below in the description. Some really good content being created about these locations. Let me go over the update and uh, touch the new EVgo website. I'll link this down below in the description as well, but there's a whole new section of the EVgo website dedicated to the Pilot Flying J locations. And what they did is they created a new map that has the Pilot Flying J locations. Assumingly, this is gonna be updated more regularly, uh, which will be nice. Uh, they also have them listed down here by state, alphabetically by state. And they say, as of January, 2024. And if you count this, this is the 25 that they promised. So we have the 25 in the ground and operational as of December 31st, 2023. And assuming since they kept their word on that, they're gonna keep their word on the next phase, which is this map right here, which is an additional 175 by the end of 2024. We are now at 5% of the 500 locations completed and open. That constitutes 16 pilot and nine flying J. The new location that wasn't on the last update but did open before the New Year's is Fort Chiswell, Virginia. Um, I'll be going there tomorrow in order to record a site visit video. And as I said, there's multiple other site visit videos um, that I'll be linking down below in the description. Some of them travel to more than one location. And um, uh, Warrington, Missouri by the Duke of Manville is a new one. And um, let's see. No new ones have been spotted under construction. I'll go to that in just a second. But let me just talk about the site visit video of uh, every mile right here. He created a site visit video. He has an ID4, which has free EA charging. And he's going down 75, and he actually pays the high price for Pilot Flying J DC fast charging um, on 75 
only about a mile away from an EA station. And he says the reason he does that is because of the great amenities and the canopy. Um, and so I guess if uh, you're on a trip and the cost for the fuel is not a is not a big situation and you just want to have a place to stop and have lunch with the family, I guess it makes sense even if you're on a free plan to stop at uh, these locations and charge up at the uh, higher rate. And that's what he did at two different locations. Um, in a Volkswagen ID4 with a free EA plan, he stops at two different pilot flying J's. So it's a pretty cool uh, road trip video. Uh, it talks about the power of amenities at uh, EV charging locations. The spotted under construction has not changed. I have been looking, I'm assuming because of the cold weather, construction has basically ceased for a time. It's kind of what it feels like. I don't know for sure, but there are no changes. No changes to the state funding reports. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.